Yes, and it tells me we have a rectangular page that contains 24 square inches of print. The margins at the top and the bottom are to be 1.5 inches. The margins at the left and the right are to be 1 inch. What are the dimensions of the page so that the least amount of paper is used? So I'm going to label an illustration here. We've got 1.5 inch margins at the top and the bottom, 1 inch margins on the left and the right, and this printed area should be 24 square inches. <clears throat> so we have two equations. Okay, We're talking about the area of the print, and then we also have the dimensions of the page. So, um, we've kind of got to decide where we're going to label our um, function here. I would say that we need to label this X and this Y, okay, the dimensions of the printed area. Okay, so we've got area equals X times Y. That's the area we know. That's supposed to be 24 inches. We're trying to use the least amount of paper, so we're talking about the area of the paper. So we have another area formula. But this area is the area of the entire page. So this width would be x. It has an inch here and an inch here. So that would be x plus 2. And the height would be y. It has an inch and a half at the top and an inch and a half at the bottom. So this would be y plus 3. This is the area we're trying to minimize. Or optimize. So we're going to take the derivative of this, but it's got to be in terms of a single variable. Do y'all have a preference? Would you rather sub for x or y? It really doesn't matter in this problem. Sub for x. Okay. So uh, that means we need to solve this other equation over here for x by dividing by y. So we're going to replace x with 24 over y. Now, personally, I'd rather not have to do the product rule. I would rather multiply this out. So we've got 24 over y times y. Well, that's just 24. Plus 24 over y times 3. 24 times 3 is uh, 72, I think. Yeah, 72 over y plus 2y plus 6. So our area is equal to, well, there's not really an ideal order to write this in, so I'm just going to do 30 plus 2y plus 72 over y. We're trying to minimize, so we need to take the derivative. A prime is equal to... Oh, the 